Hello everyone, myself I am Rajendra Bhumsarev. I am from TPG Rotor Polytechnic College, Ambezovay. And my today's topic for poster presentation is Electric Vehicles. So friends, we all have a general idea about Electric Vehicles. But what is the actual concept behind this? Today we will see in depth. So friends, what do you mean by Electric Vehicles? Electric Vehicles means by using one and more traction motor and the battery pack to propel our vehicle. It is known as the Electric Vehicles. Here I have mentioned one figure that indicates the setup of this electric car. Here, here is onboard charger, here is a charge board, traction battery pack, here is a DC to DC converter and so much more components. But here I have enlisted only the important or the key components of this electric car. And in this, first is battery, second is charge board, third is DC to DC converter and fourth one is electric traction motor. So first we see the battery. Friends, in any in, in, in electric vehicles, the battery is the heart of any electric vehicle system. So while we are discussing about the battery in that time, the batteries are of different types. Just like uh, nickel cadmium batteries, zinc carbon batteries, uh, lithium ion batteries and so on. So friends, if you are charging your battery for 40 kW, then you can drive your vehicle is up to 150 miles. So, this I have mentioned here, a lithium ion battery pack because we mostly prefer this lithium ion battery because it has a higher efficiency and it is the lightest metal battery pack with respect to the other metal batteries. Then every battery producer company gives about 8 years of lifespan, means up to 8 years you can use it by recharging again and again. So I have mentioned here one table also. It will the total concept about the electric vehicle. It means that I have explained the zinc carbon batteries, alkaline batteries, lithium ion batteries, then and its features. For example, uh, zinc carbon batteries have nominal voltage 1.50, alkaline batteries have also 1.50 nominal voltage, and just like saying, the lithium have also 1.50 voltage. While we are seeing this on the table, that time we understand. The shelf life. The shelf life for zinc carbon batteries 1 to 2 years, for alkaline batteries 7 years, and lithium ion batteries have 10 to 15 years of shelf life. It means the highest lifespan is for lithium ion battery. It is about 10 to 15 years. So we mostly prefer this lithium ion battery. Then, friends, the second one is charge port. Charge ports are provided at local places and the rate of charging at the charge uh, local places is about 250 kW to 135 kW. But friends, you know one truth, the electric vehicle batteries can charge at home also. But for this, we need about 240 volt AC supply or the 15 ampere electricity supply. Then we can charge the electric batteries at home also. Friends, I have mentioned here a charging port diagram. It indicates the it is digital, it is the ongoing trend in the market because what happens in the traditional technologies, the charging is indicated on the dashboard, but now in latest trend, it is indicated on the charging cap. So it is easy to indicate how much charging is done and how much charging is left. Friends, we are discussing about the charging and it is also important to know about the charging cost. So friends, if you want to charge your battery for one unit, then for one unit, it costs for 4 to 6 rupees. This is the cost for charge. Then third one is DC to DC converter. Friends, DC converter is so important concept in these electric vehicles because the DC converter converts higher voltage into lower voltage. If 48 voltage is coming inside and we require only 12 volt, then the DC converter converts 48 volt into 12 volt. So this is the function of this DC converter. And friends, this, uh, this DC converter has a low losses with high efficiency, means this DC converter can increase the efficiency of our electric vehicle also. Then the fourth one is electric traction motor. It is the key component in this electric system because this electric traction motor changes the transmission system and it also gives the direction to our vehicle's wheels. So we can change the direction according to our need. This is the function of this electric traction motor. And this electric traction motor have high fuel efficiency and zero emission 
which means that there is no any emission in the in the atmosphere or any exhaust in the atmosphere so it does not cause any harm to the environment just like conventional vehicles so this e vehicle technology is also called as eco friendly technology friends so the traction motor does not require any multi speed gearbox as the conventional motors needs means we know the in electric vehicles there is no any multi speed gearbox because this traction motor self produce the higher torque with respect to a vehicle means if you are driving your vehicle at very low speed that time also your vehicle can produce the higher torque with respect by using this electric traction motor so this is also an important part of this electric vehicle system so friends i think i have explained all about the electric vehicles but if you want the more knowledge about it uh, then you can also visit the online platforms so my poster presentation is completed here thank you very much